Oh, wait, we need to put it on your wife. Oh, way. you do. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, you just you keep talking over Okay, there. so Sarah is here at my house, a rare moment that she is here in um, Southern California, and we are trying to instantaneously um, Facebook Live this on my Facebook and Instagram Live it on her Instagram. So... So yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. I'm just going. She's here, really but quick. she's gonna. Do you know my Wi-Fi password? I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. She forgot to get on my Wi-Fi. So you're, Sorry, you're seeing guys. a little bit of the behind the Sorry. scenes here um, in what happens. But anyway, we have um, some fun news that we want to share with you guys. But we I'm do. Hold off until she gets connected on here. Actually, here. Let me do it, and then you, you talk. <laughs> I'm going to put my Okay, so on. I'm in town. Well, I, I'm leaving, like, right now, pretty I much. Know. Um, but we wanted to come in because we have a new podcast that is already starting in September? Yes. I think it's coming out in September. We just finished all of the um, logo for it, the name for it, and... Okay, I got it now. I got it now. Okay. And, yeah, you hit it now, girl. Okay. I've just got a notification on my phone that Sarah James is now on my circle, so um, that's I am, my internet filter. Don't do anything. Um, I don't want to share this, but I will. Whatever. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So am I, am I on? You're, yes. Uh -huh. you, you're seeing the exciting behind the scenes of two people. <laughs> You guys, this is high tech. This is so high with tech. Selfie tripod. I mean, but now we have to tell them what we're doing. Oh, okay. That's the so, only problem. Okay, right. so now we're live on my Instagram over here. So we've got two going on. I'm here to tell you, I'm here with Kristen, my good friend Kristen Howerton, and we have some news because we have been working for quite a while, yes. right? For quite some time on a new podcast that okay. is launching in September. Yes. That we're very, very excited about called. The name of the podcast is Selfie, Selfie, and it is not a podcast about taking selfies, although that may be discussed. It, it could be discussed. It is actually a podcast about self-care and yes. our pursuit of self-care, which is a topic that Sarah and I have talked about together numerous times, both on camera, but also just on the phone. On the phone, um, texting, yeah. emails, crying. No, yeah, no, 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 no. discussing that with each other because it is, self-care is a thing that both of us have found very elusive. Yes, absolutely. And it's like a thing that I think most, most women, and, and not just women, I think men too, but most women, it's like, we know the things that we should do. Yes. We totally know the things we should I do. I mean, we know because we read about it all day long. Uh, we yeah. hear about it. Everywhere you turn, it's like, this is how you should take care of yourself. Yeah. Aren't you taking care of yourself? Take care of yourself. Right. So it's like, we know we should get enough sleep. And yet, here I sit, completely sleep deprived for the last week. Yes. We know we should go out and get in the sunshine. And we know we should take walks. And we know that we should, you know, eat certain eat right. foods and not eat certain not eat, foods. You're right. And we know that these things would make us feel better, and yet it seems to be this kind of endless loop of us really struggling with self-care. Yes. I mean, and everyone's doing it, because I yeah. feel like you read all these things, like you said, you read them, you see them, you, you're like, I need to do these things. Yeah. These things would make me feel better. Yeah. You do these things, and you feel better. Yes. Yet, are we really doing these things? Are we doing them yeah. all the time? Are we doing them consistently? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like my friends, when we talk about it, that is a really tough thing to do. I agree. So in, you know, some of the things we want to talk about are types of self-care, you know, um, what we should be doing. We want to explore all different kinds of self-care from exercise to eating, all that kind of interesting stuff. But what we really want to talk about is our resistance to self-care and our barriers to self-care and what it is that keeps us from doing the things we know we should be doing, whether that be codependency, mm -hmm. uh, because I know well, I read we, hashtag mom guilt. Totally. Huge. Totally mom guilt. Huge. I know one of the big things that I struggle with is I get, whether it is getting out the door, whether it's having company over, I take care of everybody before I take care of myself. So, you know, or family portraits, whatever it is, like all my kids are showered, all my kids are dressed, their rooms are clean. I'm always the last person I think of. Yes. Whether it's you know having friends over, going going out to dinner, I am always like at the very last minute. Okay, everybody, hop in the car. Oh, I guess I'll put makeup on, or right. I guess I'll you know, 
I really struggle with um, putting myself first. Absolutely. And it's almost expected to be that way. It is. I think there is yes. there's a certain stigma with being a mom that we do come last. We should yeah. come last. Yeah. Everyone else comes before us. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, when that happens and we start falling apart, then the whole system falls apart. Right. And I do, I sincerely believe, you know, that it's not just a selfish endeavor, which, you know, and that's part of why we wanted to name it self. We just thought it was an interesting play on words because there is this, there is this thought that self-care is a thing for the privileged or this, yes, this sort of thing that you can get to when everything else is taken care of. But the reality is, you know, there are a lot of cultures um, that are not nearly as affluent as ours. Yes. Where, where people are able to um, involve themselves in, in self-care practices much easier than we are. Yes. In fact, I really think money and privilege have little to do with self-care. I completely agree. Which is weird. I completely agree. Well, then you have the whole American I just read coming through mind, just the workaholic tendency yes. to be the best, to work yeah. as hard as you can, to make the money, all yeah. of that. I mean, that factors in it too as well, which I don't think is in other cultures. I, it's like, go, yeah. we, we are in a go, 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 go. I don't know which one to look at. I keep on going like this. I know, right? I yeah. And you know, another thing that both Sarah and I struggle with is we're both very type A. And yes. even as we were talking about the byline for the for the you know the podcast we were toying with like do we even want to mention that and you know or is that kind of a negative thing but we are both very type A and so yes. it's it is not easy for me to make a self care item a part of my to do list and I feel like self care is a thing that I do when I've completely finished the to do list which never actually happens so right. I never take care of myself which is horrible and right. I would never want to model that to my children but I am modeling it to my children. I know. I know. I think it is one of the biggest issues going on I do with too. Um, women. Well, men too. But yeah. I just feel like as a woman trying to do it all mm -hmm. and trying to fit it all in there and the guilt. And then just sometimes it's like maybe self-care just means sitting on the couch and eating a pint of ice cream. I, I don't know. Which is not yeah. technically self-care, but just taking that time to take a breath, mm -hmm. sit back, mm -hmm. and take care of yourself. Yeah. Or even right? weirdly self-care can look like you're not going to look at... Um, your text messages when you're sitting at a stoplight, you know, right? You're gonna give yourself the gift of, right. you know, undistracted driving or undistracted life, you know, right? Absolutely. Um, that you that you're allowing yourself to unplug because we do live in this weird culture now where people can get in touch with us all, all the, time. the time, every second of the day. Yeah. So then yeah. we feel like we're on call all the time. Absolutely. Which is really stressful. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to definitely look at it from like those larger perspectives, mm -hmm. but also looking at it, we're going to kind of drill down as well into certain types of self-care, things that we've done ourselves, yeah. things that have worked, things that have not worked. And we're, and we're also going to put ourselves on the gauntlet and try some things that maybe, you know, are a little out there. We, you know, I got the advice last week that I've got to do Reiki. You know, Reiki, Reiki. Yes, or I've done you, it. you've done some interesting done things that I yes. can't wait for you to yes. talk about. I went through a period a couple of years ago where I was like, okay, I'll do whatever I can to feel better, yeah. and did some really weird stuff, yeah. like angelic clair clairvoyant he he healing, the healer, the healer, the healer guy yeah. that like stared at my I that. Uh, your aura. I He's my he like, healed your aura, my aura, like my pelvic aura. I don't know. This guy was really, really weird. In fact, I almost ran out of the room. Um, but yeah, just because there's so many modalities now yeah. too. That's the other thing. I mean, there's so many things to do to like to help yourself. Yeah. So we're gonna have to report back on it too. Yeah. And we're gonna enlist, you know, experts. We're gonna talk. Uh, we're gonna talk about a lot of different things. Everything from friendship and how that plays into self care, um, mental health, psychology, medication. Um, periods. Oh my god, we could do an entire we, podcast on periods. And like, don't get me started right now. Here I go. Yeah. But seriously, and I'll tell you one thing. I, I mean, Chris and I are about the exact same age. Um, we're in our early 40s. And no one really talks about it unless you're hanging out with some girls. You have yeah. like a glass of wine. And then suddenly it's like, that's all you're talking about. Uh -huh. Like what the Periods, hell is happening? hormones. Yeah. What is happening to my body? Mm -hmm. Can someone help me? I think maybe I'm done. So we are going to dive into all of those fun issues. We're probably going to do a lot of oversharing, more we're than we've ever done. We're going to overshare, which is big for us. We're I not know. really big oversharers, but we're going to overshare and then tips to implement. Yes, 
Definitely tips to implement self-care throughout the day. Yes. So not, sure. not like these big picture things. Also just like mm -hmm. five minutes here or there. Yes. Yeah. So we're looking into all of this. Is it going to be weekly? Yes. It's weekly. It's weekly. It's going to be a weekly podcast. We clearly have so. this all set up. It's going to be weekly. I think it's going to be weekly, guys, but I'm not really sure. Well, we're going to we're going to shoot for Oh, oh. does that Oh. No, we're still live. Oh, we're still live. Yeah, okay. Everybody, everybody so yeah, I got a phone call. That about that about covers. That about think? covers. Yeah. It. yeah, so please, we would love to hear from you guys. Um, leave us comments on what topics you want to hear us discuss. Yes. Um, what aspects of self-care, even if you just have a story or you can relate, we would really love to hear from you as we were sort of planning our first few episodes. Absolutely. And, um, you know, just stay in touch and we will announce once we have our first episode live. We'll do it. Thanks. Bye.